After falling down from the mouth of hell, Godzilla slams into the vestibule and awakens, being greeted by an enormous rock tower rising from the ground with the famous line, Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Godzilla destroys the tower and moves on, passing through two cities with alien architecture before coming across a nuclear reactor. Peering inside, he is ambushed by a grotesque demon resembling a pile of organs crawling out from the smokestacks. Godzilla dispatches the demon and moves on. On the horizon, an enormous cloud appears, made up of perhaps millions of souls, if not more, which are blown around by a tremendous storm. Godzilla walks through the cloud with difficulty, but is confronted in the eye of the storm by what appears to be another Godzilla. However, it's only a disguise for another demon, this time larger, who puts up a better fight. In the end, the demon attempts to devour Godzilla, which proves to be a mistake as a nuclear pulse destroys the demon from the inside out. However, the blast also weakens the ledge of Godzilla's current level, causing him to plunge off the ledge and fall deeper into hell. Godzilla is looking out over a city when a demon representation of Rodan appears. Godzilla fights him off and upon defeating him, enters an icy region where a demon Anguirus is frozen in ice. After breaking out of the ice, the two start to fight, but the ice cracks and Godzilla falls into an endless ocean where he encounters a demon Varen. Varen is quickly deterred by Godzilla's atomic ray, and a demon King Ghidorah appears behind him. Ghidorah then blasts the water with its gravity beams to create a whirlpool, likening the situation to the Odyssey Scylla, a many-headed monster, and Caribbis, a whirlpool. Godzilla is then sucked into the whirlpool. The world is in ruin, while Godzilla and Space Godzilla are seen fighting in Rio de Janeiro, where the flaming wreckage of Mongira and the remains of Kiryu's arm are also located. Space Godzilla blasts his corona beam towards Godzilla at full intensity, causing Godzilla to be consumed in flame. Godzilla withstands the attack and approaches Space Godzilla while firing his atomic breath at point-blank range, knocking Space Godzilla down. After roaring in victory, Godzilla fires his atomic breath directly at his downed foe, but Space Godzilla fires his corona beam back at Godzilla's atomic breath, causing them to lock and explode, destroying the entire Earth and killing both kaiju. Godzilla then wakes up in purgatory, where he sees angels with Mothra's wings, along with God, who takes the form of a multi-eyed mountain with the body parts of several different monsters on it. The angels and God try persuading Godzilla to join Heaven's army, but Godzilla is not interested. After crushing an angel in between his hands, Godzilla is thrown into hell, where he lands in an icy cavern. There, he is confronted by a swarm of demons and a demonically enhanced Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla tackles Godzilla and holds him in place so the demons can go down Godzilla's throat and consume his heart in order to make him a permanent servant of hell. Luckily, the angels arrive and help Godzilla defeat Space Godzilla by giving him a powerful force field. After Space Godzilla's death, the angels try to persuade Godzilla to join them again, but Godzilla still isn't interested and responds by simply blasting through the entrance to heaven with his atomic breath. The angels and demons then begin worshipping Godzilla, which doesn't interest him. Godzilla then eats some of the angels and demons before continuing on his way. Godzilla is seen roaring in victory after defeating King Ghidorah and Destroya. As Godzilla walks away from his defeated foes, Ghidorah's scars and Destroya's missing horn heal at a very fast rate, and the two monsters get back up to resume their battle with Godzilla. Both kaiju attack Godzilla by blasting him with their beam attacks. Godzilla is then thrown into a building by Destroya's flying form. As Godzilla recovers from the attack, 
Ghidorah attacks Godzilla before it destroys flying and aggregate forms attack him as well. Eventually, Ghidorah grabs Godzilla and drops him onto a hellish version of the Tokyo Tower, impaling him. Despite the seemingly fatal injury, Godzilla frees himself and notices that a gigantic wall seems to be blocking the city. Godzilla tries blasting it with his atomic breath, but the wall regenerates every time Godzilla tries destroying it. As Godzilla is distracted, Destroya decapitates him with his horn, only for Godzilla to instantly grow his head back. Ghidorah and Destroya then brutally attack Godzilla in a way to torture him as Godzilla is forced to forever keep fighting them. Eventually, Godzilla allows himself to be defeated while Ghidorah and Destroya turn on each other and fight. After watching the fight, Godzilla tries to destroy the wall again, but Ghidorah and Destroya see this and try blasting him with their gravity and micro-oxygen beams again. But Godzilla fires his atomic breath while ducking to avoid Ghidorah and Destroya's attack, and manages to make a hole in the wall to continue on his way, while King Ghidorah, Destroya, and the hellish version of Tokyo fade away behind him. Eventually, everything, including Godzilla, fades away. Godzilla appears from a white void, continuing to wander through hell. Quick climate changes such as blizzards bombard the King of the Monsters, but Godzilla presses ever onward. Coming to a large bridge at the edge of a blood waterfall, Godzilla bursts through it and tumbles miles below into a pit of stalactites, nearly as large as he is. Swatting some of the spires with his tail in anger, he moves on, unaware of vicious hellbats emerging from inside the spires. The hellbats quickly form a large swarm and follow Godzilla, who keeps the swarm at bay with his tail. Nearing the end of his journey, Godzilla comes face to face with his final trial, an impossibly tall mountain with swirling thunderclouds that completely dwarfs even him. At the top of the mountain sleeps the Hellgate Guardian, a massive demon guarding the entrance to the living world. Godzilla tries to blast the Guardian with his atomic breath, but he can't seem to get it out. Ever determined, the King of the Monsters starts climbing the mountain to face the Guardian. The Guardian takes notice and causes a landslide to both knock Godzilla off the mountain and bury him under the rubble. Bursting forth, Godzilla seems to finally give up his last shred of hope of leaving and closes his eyes, allowing the Hellbats to devour him. The Hellbats, sensing Godzilla's submission, go in for the kill. Swarming around Godzilla, the Hellbats devour every inch of Godzilla's flesh, leaving only his bones which collapse into the rubble from the landslide. The Hellbats then begin to fly away, plump and satisfied when they all suddenly convulse and grow one eye each. The Hellbats then start screeching out miniature versions of Godzilla's roar and fly back to his skeleton, swarming around it and reforming Godzilla's body with their own. The Hellbat Godzilla then collectively roars at the Guardian in challenge, followed by each and every Hellbat firing an atomic breath simultaneously, thus causing a massive Godzilla-sized atomic blast to slam into the Guardian, killing it. The Hellbat Godzilla then climbs the mountain and reaches the gate. In the end, a fully alive and reformed Godzilla bursts from the ocean, back in the living world, roaring in his ultimate triumph. He has finally escaped hell itself.